Welcome back to a year in the garden. It has been exactly fifty days since we first set the shovel down onto this bare patch of dirt and started this garden. So today is the second time that we are harvesting green. That's not too bad for fifty days from the ground up. So this right here I'm harvesting is mustard green. And true to their promise on the package, mustard green, mustard green and uh, baby box chai right here takes about 45 days to mature. And that's exactly what it took. One thing that is important when you harvest your own homegrown green is that it has a lot of dirt. It might anyway. So make sure when you wash them, you, they are submerged in the water in your sink or in a bucket for a few minutes to let the dirt sink down to the bottom. So the way to multiply your harvest, don't pull up the whole, whole plant so that the middle can continue to produce. Take the outer edges, leaf, the biggest one there is, and that way you don't just kill the whole plant. Same way with baby bok choy here. Outer edges, like this. And really there is, that's about it for harvesting green. Now let me show you around, come on over, let me show you around what we have going on in the garden. Both this bed are planted with green, mustard greens. This one is going to be all harvested out very soon because we have hot weather crop beans coming in and they're poking out of the ground. So this is only a uh, temporary. So over here is another bed interplanted with cilantro on both sides. And some of this needs to be picked already. Otherwise it will be too tough. On this one bed is beet and uh, leaves. Leeks are doing well. They're always very slow. It takes 120 days to harvest leeks, so I'm not too worried. However, beets seem to be struggling to me. I don't know whether it's because it has been so cold or maybe something is lacking, some nutrient is lacking in the soil. Just to be on the safe side, commercial soils not, are not always cracked out to be what they promised to be. So we have added some organic balance 444 fertilizer just to give them a boost. Over here, the peas definitely look anemic to us. It's not as green, the leaves are not as green as they should be and that tells us that they need a boost in nitrogen. So once again, we have given it a boost on that organic fertilizer. So, delicata uh, squash, getting ready to climb. Take the material in the backyard, what you have, and try to make do with it. Now this whole garden has been built, the hard wear of it is entirely built by my husband. With the exception of the drain, um, of the drip system, we have done everything ourselves, so we're quite pleased with it, the result. Another bed of peas. Once again, another bed of green interplanted with beans. Uh, another bed of mustard. Mustard green, my favorite spring vegetable. Still fried up with some garlic and maybe some bacon. Fantastic. Anyway, this bed is also ready to be harvest. Two bed of onion, yellow onion, red onion interplanted with tomatoes. I'm very excited about these tomatoes because um, they're all heirloom and I'll be harvesting their seeds. More beets here. Cabbage doing well and a uh, daikon. Look at this daikon. Look at the stem. Already producing a very nice stalk. Look at that. 
Can you see? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. This is a bed that is reserved for garlic. But since garlic is a fall planting, is a fall planting herb, I hate to see anything loafing around sitting along, not doing anything. So we have planted, as you can see, it poked up all over already, a color green and Swiss chard. Potatoes. Potatoes finally poked up. It took a little bit longer than we thought and mostly because it has been really cold and also it has been buried really deep and we did that. Farmer Dave did that on purpose because he didn't want to have the trouble in the summer of having to cover it up because potatoes as they grow they push towards the surface towards the sun and in order to prevent that sunburn we have to keep on uh, what is that word uh, mounting them so we didn't want the trouble of that so they were planted really deep but they're doing well they're poking up all of them have been poking up over here is a bed of cauliflower now all this i have started the cauliflowers I think in March, early March from seeds is an experiment and they have all come up. Uh, I studied the seeds indoors and transplanted about, but they seems to be thriving mainly because the weather has been cool. But cauliflower needs some cool weather to form the head. So I don't know how it's going to turn out when the heat hits. Interplanted with cauliflowers is a crop of deals over there. Deals and marigold. I started from seeds indoors as well. In the back of the garden is a crop of raspberry. Give of a friend. She gave me, Mary me, gave me so many raspberry stalks that are strong. And to my surprise, they are already producing a few fruits my surprise I did not expect that chives and horseradish two I'm very excited about this two grapes a red one canadi and a white one and a white one more potatoes poking up all over along the path And even more thrilling, California poppies, seeds that I throw down about three weeks ago are popping up all over the place. So, and that's about it. Outside the fence, we have blackberries and we have rhubarb and that's it. So that concludes this phase of a year in the garden. We will check back with the garden periodically throughout the year to see what's going on. Until then, happy gardening!